Hey guys, Patrick with Southern Gears here. I uh, was sitting there looking online and I found this little camera here. It was $23. It claimed to be 4K Ultra HD, but you know, it was $23. So, you know, it's got a little screen on the back. It's, I mean, it's it's all right. It's not great. It's it's obviously plastic. It's kind of kind of lightweight uh, it was twenty three dollars though and so it came with actually all this stuff with the twenty three dollars so that makes you wonder it comes with this little watch thing here I guess uh, you can start you can capture images and start recording it's very cheaply made feeling uh, this right here actually clips onto it so you can actually do like a little selfie stick or something like that walk around with it also doubles as an ability to mount it to your chest somehow I don't know exactly understand how it comes with these two these two straps right here but I honestly I cannot figure out how they go on there the pictures that they provide in the the pictures they provide in the in the uh, instructions are very useless uh, so it also comes with this right here. It's a double-sided tape. It allows you to mount it on something. Uh, I wish it would have came with some sort of suction cup, but you know, hey, it was twenty-three dollars. What can you, what can you ask for? Also comes with this little waterproof container, uh, and so we will test that out. See if it actually is waterproof. Um, but so this is everything that comes with this here. I want to get some footage of it uh, so that we can actually kind of see is it really worth $23 because I mean my expectations were pretty low to begin with so I don't expect there to be very good resolution I'm thinking you know 1990s uh, but we'll see let's let's check it out okay so this is what it claims <laughs> to be 4k now based on looking at this little image that it has here for this it does not look like no 4k anything if anything we just went back to the 1990s with one of those big old cameras that you used to place on on your uh, shoulder that had the big uh tape going into it you younger kids probably don't know anything about that but i grew up in the 90s and these things were heavy you could knock somebody out with them easily if something came along I mean they they're bigger than what a lot of the professionals use nowadays but you also put a full tape in there too so but this looks terrible I mean that is crazy but I mean twenty three dollars what can you really expect other than just terrible so I don't know I don't even think it's 720 really I think it's more closer to 480 but we'll see this is what it looks like on the on that tiny little screen right there that little screen looks like it's about 480 so I want to see what it looks like on the computer we well, all have already seen that though so I'm gonna test this uh, waterproof box I mean it does have a an o-ring going or, or not really an o-ring but some sort of gasket going around it and each one of these has a little o-ring inside there for each one of the buttons that gets pressed so I mean in theory it should we will see though. Let me get this thing in here. Let's see if I can do that one handed. Probably. Let's see. I think I can. Bang. Look at that. So you're supposed to be able to click these buttons. Let's see here. Let me cut this thing on. There it goes. Welcome. Oh, dang it. Okay, let's turn her on. Yep, there she goes. Welcome. Welcome. Alright, so, hit record. So, it is now recording, and we are going to just. So long! Oh, and it just floats. That's well. At least you know it's full of air. Question is, will it sink? 
Let's just push this thing down. Let's flip it over. Seems we're doing good. I mean, it's definitely. question is now when we press buttons like I'm gonna go ahead and hit the stop record button and see what happens so I hit stop record and it stopped let's hit it again all right so it seems to be still be working just fine yeah I think she's doing just fine yeah, I mean, oh, I saw a bubble come out of there. I don't know if y'all saw that. I don't know if that was just in one of these little pockets right here. Could have been. I, mean, I haven't seen another one come out. Oh, but, uh, alright then. That seems to be holding up pretty well. I'm going to leave it in here. See how well it continues to go. Just let it sit here for a while. And I'm going to go ahead and stop recording on that thing again. Bam! Bam! All right, so, but it floats though. That's a good thing. I mean, that's if you're you can mount this thing on like a little RC boat or something like that, and it could give you great footage. But if it comes off, it's gonna be easy to find. It's gonna be the only camera floating around in the in the lake. So, cool. We'll lose that. It's open though, and let's just double check, make sure no water got in, as far as we you know as we know. Okay, so I mean it looks dry. My hands are wet, so I don't want to dry my hands off a little bit real quick before I go to touching it. But uh, yeah, I mean, other than the water that was put on it by my hands, it seems to have held up. I mean, it's hard to mess up a box like this. Just a little gasket right here and O-rings around each button. So, but it seems it seems to be a good good little box. Hey guys, so well, I just wanted to end and let y'all know my opinion on it. Uh, my opinion is that no, it is not worth $23. Uh, there are so many better things you can spend $23 on. I recommend finding anything else to spend $23 on. Uh, if you love terrible footage uh, or just looking for a flashback to the past, I, I recommend it. It's definitely going to take you there with its terrible footage. Uh, I went ahead and spent the money so you don't have to. It was only $23. It's not like it was that much. If you still want to get it, maybe you want to put it to an RC or just see you know, what kind of abuse it can take. I'm going to myself try and drop it and see what kind of abuse it takes now, now that I've reviewed its, its terribleness. Um, so I will get back to that and I would, I'm going to put up a torture test of that thing later on. So look out for that. If you'd like to see more, hit, hit that like button. Uh, subscribe please uh, maybe hit the notification button so you can see when that video comes out but uh, I'll see y'all later bye